All right, guys, welcome to my very beat up desk. <laughs> Hopefully in the future for flatway situations, we'll have something here that prohibits the glare. But we're gonna go ahead and start this party off with my primers. All right, here we go. These are all of my primers. I'm probably not going to get rid of a lot here, but I am going to get rid of a couple for sure. So let's go ahead and talk about them one by one. Starting off with primers that have an actual glow to them, this is the Becca First Light Priming Filter and it is a really pretty purple brightening situation. Um, it's just very nice and brightening on the skin. Purple is very brightening. Don't mind the chunks. She just hasn't been used in a while. So there's that one. And then we have the Becca first, no, backlight. Did I say? This is first light. This is backlight. You can see here that this has been in quite a few project pans. <laughs> so <clears throat> there's not much if any of this left but it is quite a bit more glowy than the first light primer although they look both look pretty glowy at this point lastly i have the dr brandt pores no more luminizer primer i received this in a boxy charm in fact it was one of my very first boxy charms that I received and I was really thrilled to begin with and of the three of these I think this is probably the most natural one. Both the Dr. Brandt and the Becca backlight are quite a bit more glowy than what I prefer so I'm gonna go ahead and let both of these go and just keep the Becca first light use this up and to be honest I don't know if I'll buy another glowy primer it's just not my thing these days so I'm decluttering these two and keeping this one all right these are my mattifying and blurring primers we first have the Smashbox original photo finish primer and this I just keep this on hand for the off chance that I'm really going to need my makeup to last all day and be very smooth. However, because I have this Too Faced Primed in Peachy Glare, <laughs> um, I don't think I need to hold on to this. I've never used this. I do believe it still has the safety seal on it. Let's double check. No, it doesn't have a safety seal. Okay. Well, then I'm going to declutter this to either friends or family. And then I also have this little sample here of the Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer infused with Glow Nectar. Let's look at this. I've used this once or twice, but I didn't love it. Ooh, that has a pretty strong cu cucumber fragrance like an artificial cucumber fragrance I don't know it feels nice I guess I will keep this one for now and see if I can't use it up and then you know go from there <laughs> next I have my one of my favorite matte primers this is the elf oil control primer mist and it's just a mist I mean it is a spray as you can see here usually how I use this is I spray it into my hand and then I rub my hands together and press this into the skin and it is a beautiful primer for oil control especially during the summer for me so I'm definitely keeping this and then my all-time favorite matte primer is this Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. 
smells like fig or peach or something of the like come out oh don't say you're drying out you can see here it's like this little peachy tone it is cooling when you apply it it's very smoothing and it definitely keeps my makeup on all day and I just really like the way it wears under makeup so I'm definitely keeping that so I am keeping all three of these Last but not least, we have my hydrating primers here. I wasn't really for sure where to stick the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer in at, but I do consider the Tatcha Silk Canvas a hydrating primer, and the two are similar, not dupes, but similar. So I decided to include it in this category. So first I have here the Ulta Hydrating Face Primer, mineral oil free, paraben free, coconut water for hydration. This is a little mini and I actually super duper love this primer. It does smell really nice and it does absolutely hydrate the skin. It makes I don't know, it kind of feels like a moisturizer, but it like super duper plumps up my skin in preparation for foundation, so I am definitely keeping that one. Next we have the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, really beautiful packaging here, and this is again a very much like a moisturizer texture, I'm not digging any of this out because it's expensive as all get out but it has a very nice herbally scent it does absolutely prepare the skin for makeup they call it an all-in-one primer and moisturizer and I've really been loving this this winter and I am definitely keeping it then we have this little duo right here let's talk about the elf one first this is the elf poreless putty primer they now have a luminous version and a matte version I find this to be definitely similar to the Tatcha one with the elf one it's most similar to the Tatcha one the more I use. I feel like this e.l.f. one I have to use ever so slightly more than I do of the Tatcha to achieve similar results. This is the Tatcha the Silk Canvas Primer. I love this. It's a nice light peachy tone here and I think it is very very nice. It has a nice cooling feeling when you apply it to the skin. It has a very light natural scent to it. I absolutely adore how my makeup looks over the top of this one and like I said or if I didn't say this is the mini so I definitely will be keeping that one. So for the category of primer, I am keeping eight and I am decluttering three. So kind of hard to get them all in frame at one time, but I currently have 13 foundations, which is way too many. I'm not even that into <laughs> foundations, testing them, trying them, but I have purchased some over the last year. So we're going to go through category by category. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about these products right here. These are my sheer to light coverage foundations. Starting with these NYX Total Control Drops here, I have mine in the shade Alabaster. I had purchased these as a means of mixing with my foundations, and I've yet to do that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what this looks like. It definitely also, I think, has a tendency to sheer out other foundations a little bit because it's liquidy. I don't know, maybe it adds coverage. I don't know, I just have never used this. <laughs> I don't know whether I should keep it or not. I'm not a mixer of foundations. I'm gonna put this off into the corner as a maybe. <laughs> this is my Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector, Broad Spectrum SPF 20. 
and then I got I have mine in the shade medium light I really like this this is like the sort of matte -er version of a BB cream it's very 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 dark for me right now definitely a summer product and a summer shade but I really really love this product a lot it's a repurchase for me this is the second tube that I have had so I'm going to be keeping that one I've decided to forego swatching foundations or we will be here all day um, next another one I know I'm keeping is the Misha perfect cover BB cream SPF 42 PA plus 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 I have mine in shade number 23 which is described as natural beige this is the one this is the foundation to end all foundations for me I use this as much as humanly possible it's my absolute favorite it does go on the skin looking a little bit gray but I find as I work it into my skin that's no longer the case and this is definitely a light coverage product I tend to actually sh make it to more of a sheer coverage product for myself which is my preference but absolutely you could achieve light coverage out of this maybe even a low medium coverage but I do really love this product and I'm definitely keeping it okay let's talk about one I know I'm not keeping this is the physicians formula organic wear silk foundation elixir with jojoba oil and I have mine in the shade light to medium this is a very interesting product I used this in a recent get ready with me trying to make this product work for me I just cannot it just sits on top of my skin it never works into my skin I've used a brush I've used sponge I've used the warmth of my fingers and it just sits on top of my skin I don't know if it's because my skin's not absorbing or accepting the jojoba oil but this is a hard pass for me I just I just don't want to mess with this anymore when I have foundations that I love that are not getting love because I'm trying to make this one work and it's just not so I'm going to pass that one along then we have the bare minerals complexion rescue tinted hydrating gel cream broad spectrum SPF 30 in the shade bamboo 5.5 Oh, this is a tricky one. I don't know. This is one too that I felt like I had a harder time working into the skin. And it just, I don't know if it's because it's that gel texture. I don't know. Um, but I do think I want to try and work with this one a little bit more. So I think I'll keep it for now. And then I will give it another try once this better matches my current skin tone. The last two I have here, neither one I have tested enough to give my final thoughts and opinions on. This one is the Hello Fab Ultra Repair Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30. And I have mine in the shade Sand. This is a very nice texture, a very nice tinted moisturizer. It just, however, is not a good shade match for me right now. This will definitely be more of a summer shade. Even though I worship at the altar of SPF 50, there is a slightly um, noticeable darkening of my skin over the warmer months. And then lastly, this is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk in the shade light and again I just haven't spent enough time with this one partially this is not a great shade match for me right now as you can probably see this looks a lot I can't believe this is the shade light if I'm being honest I probably could have gone with the shade fair but I am going to keep this one and continue working with it so in the category of sheer to light coverage I am keeping five and I think I am gonna go ahead and get rid ah. <laughs> I think I am gonna go ahead and get rid of the NYX total control drops in alabaster and of course I am getting rid of the physicians formula so I'm keeping five and decluttering two 
I have no idea what the angle or anything is going to look like, but we're trying our best here. Okay, in the category of medium to full coverage foundations, Let's go ahead and talk about the first one that I know I'm keeping, <laughs> and that is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation, SPF 20, and this is in the shade LN4. I love this foundation. I'm praying that they're not actually discontinuing it. We don't really know what's going on just yet with this foundation, but if it is being discontinued, I will be picking up a backup. This is one of my perfect foundations. I especially love it for filming and also I really like this one when I need my makeup to stay on all day and continue to look fresh and amazing. So I'm definitely keeping this one. Another one I know I am keeping is this CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation in the shade 720, which is creamy natural. The lid is busted, which sucks. I really love this formula. This is discontinued, unfortunately. However, I did get it in a shade that is too deep for my skin tone. Currently, it worked for me last fall, following the summer, so I'm sure it will again. So I am going to keep this one because I did really enjoy it a lot. Another one I'll be keeping is this L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick Foundation Broad Spectrum SPF 27 and I have mine in the shade 404 Shell Beige. This is my one and only stick concealer. This stuff works really, really well for me. I particularly like this for concealing blemishes or even for like areas where I need a little more coverage like sunspots, melasma over my top lip, things like that. I definitely got some good use out of this last year when I first purchased it. I think this is definitely a long wearing foundation and so I'll be keeping it. Another foundation I will be keeping is this Clinique Even Better Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 15 in the shade WN16. This was one of the choices for the diamond gift at Ulta this year. Yes, I said diamond. And this is actually a really great shade match for me and I'm really liking the formula so far. I've been reaching for this quite a bit. In fact, this could be a reasonable replacement for the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation for me, rather. So I'm definitely keeping this one. And then we have the Clinique, what is this? Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. This is in the shade 5.5 Ecru. I don't know that I'll ever be this dark. Let me swatch this. Oh gosh, <laughs> look how orange it is. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to be this shade. This is very yellow. Um, I don't like necessarily, ooh, this is very, ooh, very, very full coverage, very yellow, very makeup-y looking. I'm not into that. I'm going to let this one go. And last but not least, this is the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the Dewy Formula. I have mine in the shade Buff Beige. And this was a crapshoot. Even though I was in store, I really didn't know what I was getting into in terms of shades. I didn't try the original foundation. And this is just ever so slightly too dark for me right now. But I was intrigued with the formula um, enough to keep this for the future and try it out once it is a better match for my skin tone. So I am going to be keeping this one. So overall for foundations, I am keeping 10 and I am decluttering three.
All right, not the prettiest picture, but overall, this is what I am keeping in the primer and foundation category. Overall, I decluttered six things from my collection in this video, and I'm pretty pleased with that. Overall, I just want to get rid of the things that I'm not going to be using and keep the things that I love, and I feel like I did that in this video. I hope you enjoyed this very first collection video as well as my very first um, experiment with a flat lay situation. Hopefully it will get better in videos to come. I really wanted to do things this way so that in other categories, color cosmetics specifically, I could swatch things for you and that way we can determine where I need to trim the fat, so to speak. So that's the end of this video and I will see you in the next one. I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful makeup days and I will see you in my next video real soon.